You're not going to use the toilet? What? You're not going to use the toilet? What are you talking about? You said take your poop and throw no, it over. No, a dog's thing. <laughs> you talking about a dog. I'm talking about a dog's thing. You I'm taping you. Huh? Here, I'll delete it. <laughs> I'll edit you. Okay, now you need to edit that in. Why? I'm just simply saying if you were going to pose with a dog, we can fill it up. Five by five or ten by ten foot grass sod area. They can use bathrooms and dispose of their food. You need to go somewhere. I think that's what we're getting that look for. It's a half a mile. Maggie, are you needing to get outside and run a little bit? Hmm. Park entrance. Oh well. He missed it, Maggie. Uh -oh, that's park. Go inside park. Right here. You can go in that well never mind. Well, I'm just telling you, that was it. Oh, that was the outlet then. It's his fault. It's my fault. It's his fault. Wisconsin to a harvest host, and we're all straight. I bet that's it. We are. 
arrive at Devil 5134 Town Hall Road on the right. This is a working dairy farm that we're going to. And they are allowing us to stay on their farm tonight, free of charge, with Harvest Host, which we are becoming, we're, we're going to become affiliates of Harvest Host. We're filling out our paperwork and we love Harvest Host, so we're excited to be affiliated with them. Okay, this must be it. They're going to meet us. Looks like the whole farm ends down. Looks like this is the whole thing. So, Alright, slow down. Well, this is a farm we've harvest host tonight they milk 450 head every day 450 They're fixing the milk again at four o'clock operation okay they're fixing the milk now milk these cows are all lined up they know when it's time to do their thing and uh, these these people are awesome here and they really will let you just kind of experience what's going on here they got the milkers ready to go and these cows they know when it's time they got the radio going and they know when it's time to actually get get milked. So um, these are they'll take these things and they'll wash them these the tits and they'll put these on the on the cows. And uh, so it's going to be interesting to see them do it. But uh, they know when it's time; they're ready to go. How many of you milk a day? How long does it take you to do it? Okay, this is a dairy barn that with the harvest host that we're at, and I'm not going to butcher the name with it, but uh, I'm apologize I'm not able to play the actual sound of this conversation that I'm having with this young man uh, this is one of the owner's sons I think his name is Jet Jetson or Jensen I apologize for not getting that right but they have popular music playing in the background and uh, they would surely give me a copyright strike uh, I did cut in and do some excerpts of, of what he said but he was very professional 13 years old, works for his father and his uncle that own the farm. They milk 400 head of dairy cows every day. Uh, that's a very clean facility, professionally run. He was very 
uh, knowledgeable of what he was doing and uh, very just a super nice guy very educational he was very educational and uh, I wish you could have heard him but like I said they had music playing in the background and uh, it, it kind of uh, jeopardizes the uh, monetization of this video later on but I did cut in where I could so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video Um, these are actually auto decaf milkers, so a lot of times there's a sensor down here, yeah. and when there isn't enough milk flow going through, it'll automatically shut the suction up and pull the cord in. Gardens of Manitoba. I'm home. 
hay or their feed and uh, I think they're hay actually I think they feed them move them in there and get hay and then they actually bed down and that sand is what they're saying in their brochure to keep them um, out of the fields to be too muddy I'm on these for cow feed protein ground corn granola and Post fresh, I'm not sure exactly. That's lactating, lactating cows. This is where we are. We are leaving our harvest host today, and these people have been amazing. They have welcomed us next to their milk barn to watch the cows get milked. Seems like they milk them all day long. Twice a day is what it says. And they've got all the corn. Look out here at all the corn. This is a working farm. And uh, it's a family working farm that's been in this family since 1893, I believe it was that I read. I may be wrong about that. But as you can tell, it is an awesome area to come and hang out. It rained on us, so we didn't get to do everything we wanted to do, but we did get to do some things. And they brought us a welcome sack um, when we got here with some cheeses in it, and I had to order some cheese because it was delicious. Uh, so 
just if you get a chance come up to Sheboygan Wisconsin and visit this farm we'll have the name everything. yeah we'll have the name in because I don't want to say it wrong so we'll get back with you later Last night we were uh, we started the generator, and for whatever reason, I couldn't get the the chargers to, on the inverters to start charging. It was pouring down it rain. It was pouring down rain, and man, it was just super, super aggravating. So come over here. So when I mashed the buttons up in here, you can see it's charging now. But when I mashed the buttons up in here. I'd push charge and nothing would happen. They would be blank. But right now they're both charging now. And the batteries were down to like 14%. They were low. So, and the BMSs and the battleborns were fixing on the loud charge. And the generator wouldn't and even the charge. And the generator it. would not charge it. So, this morning when I got up, I called uh, Magnum Inverter Company Support. And uh, I was a little disappointed because the guy was not real helpful. And, you know, I, I felt like he could have been a little bit more helpful to somebody like me. Uh, so I got out and I got to thinking what possibly could be it. So I went around and I opened the generator up, and I'm fixing to show you in a minute. The breaker on the generator, even though it runs, that's fine, it'll run all day. The breaker had flipped, which when the breaker flips, it will not send an electrical charge to the inverters, and that's all it was. So but we don't know now why the breaker is delivered. Okay. This on the tipping. Uh, this on the tipping right here. You look up in here. That's where you pull and get out to this. All right, right here, go over and show. That breaker, that breaker in there was flipped. That breaker, uh, Get in the middle. When you're pushing, get in the middle. That breaker's flipped, and that breaker keeps power from coming up to the inverters that charge the battery. That's all it was, so if you have something where your inverters are not charging, and I have two, so that was a key situation that the inverters weren't charging. That could be that breaker right there. That's a big point. Once that breaker was flipped, started charging my batteries, solved my problem. 